Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss the nerve and the vessel of the anterior compartment of leg. First of all, the vessel of the anterior compartment of leg. It is anterior tibial artery which supply the anterior compartment of leg. It is the smaller of the terminal branches of the popliteal artery. The other branch is the posterior tibial artery. So remember this thing that the popliteal artery divides into anterior tibial which is the smaller branch and the posterior tibial artery. Okay, anterior tibial artery arises at the lower border of the popliteus muscle. Okay, it passes through an opening in the upper part of the interosseous membrane and descend on the anterior surface of the interosseous membrane. See here in this diagram, the anterior tibial artery is passing through the opening in the upper part of the interosseous membrane and it comes on the anterior surface of the interosseous membrane. In the upper part of its course, it lies deep to the muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg. In the lower part of its course, it becomes superficial and it comes in front of the lower end of the tibia. It passes behind the superior extensor retinaculum. See here, this is superior extensor retinaculum and the anterior tibial artery passes behind the superior extensor retinaculum and the tendon of the extensor hallucis longus do you remember the extensor hallucis longus which insert over the big toe this tendon is on the medial side of the anterior tibial artery see in this diagram that the extensor hallucis longus is on the medial side of the anterior tibial artery and the deep peroneal nerve and the tendons of the extensor digitorum longus they are present on the lateral side of the anterior tibial artery these relations are very very important and sometimes they come in your mcqs so deep peroneal nerve is on the lateral side of the uh, anterior tibial artery. These are the branches of the anterior tibial artery. First of all, the anterior tibial recurrent artery. See here, here they have shown the anterior tibial recurrent artery which ascends to share in the anastomosis around the knee joint. There is one posterior tibial recurrent artery also which is over the posterior side which also share in the anastomosis around the knee joint. Then there are muscular branches which supply the muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg. Okay. Then there is anterior medial malleolar artery see here this is anterior medial malleolar which is over the anterior surface of the medial malleolus and it passes on the medial side of the ankle to share in the anastomosis around the ankle then there is anterior lateral malleolar artery which passes to the lateral side of the ankle to share in the anastomosis around the ankle joint so these are five branches which you have to learn anterior tibial artery will give anterior tibial recurrent artery posterior tibial recurrent which both share in the anastomosis around the knee joint then there are muscular branches which supply the muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg then anterior medial malleolar and anterior lateral malleolar arteries which supply which contribute in the formation of the anastomosis around the ankle joint now there are veiny comitants of the anterior tibial artery which are uh, which drain in the popliteal vein Okay, these veiny comitants, these join those of the posterior tibial artery veiny comitants in the popliteal fossa and they form the popliteal vein. So remember this thing that veiny comitants of the anterior tibial artery and the veiny comitants of the posterior tibial artery, they join together and they drain in the popliteal vein. Now the nerve of the anterior compartment of the leg, this is deep peroneal nerve. It is one of the terminal branches of the common peroneal nerve. Common peroneal nerve is one of the terminal branch of the sciatic nerve. This deep peroneal nerve arises in the lateral side of the neck of the fibula. Remember this thing, this point is very very important. It arises in the lateral side of the neck of the fibula within the peroneus longus muscle. This peroneus longus muscle is 
the muscle of the lateral compartment of the leg. Then it enters the anterior compartment by piercing the anterior facial septum. It descends deep to the extensor digitorum longus muscle. See here, this is extensor digitorum longus muscle. The deep peroneal nerve is present deep to this muscle. Okay. At first, the nerve is lateral to the anterior tibial artery. First of all, it will be seen this diagram. It is lateral to the anterior tibial artery. Then it will become anterior to the anterior tibial artery. And then again, it will become lateral to the anterior tibial artery. And it also passes behind the extensor retinaculum. So these relations are also very, very important. Now the branches of the deep peroneal nerve, see here, this is a branch of the common peroneal. It will supply all muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg, which are tibialis anterior muscle, then extensor digitorum longus muscle, then peroneus tertius muscle, and extensor digitorum brevis muscle. Okay, it will give articular branch to the ankle joint. Remember this thing, articular branch to the ankle joint. Then it give cutaneous branches to the adjacent side of the big and the second to this point is also very very important remember this thing the dorsum of the foot skin is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve except this area this is the adjacent sides of the big toe and the second toe which is supplied by the deep peroneal nerve this question will be asked in your exam that deep peroneal nerve will supply which part of the foot so it supplies the adjacent parts of the dorsal surface of the big toe and the second toe so this is the cleft between the big toe and the second toe so these things are very very important which you have to learn